Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. I'm going to the dentist for the first time in 14 years. Yeah. It's bad. It's really bad. I know it's the right thing to do, and I know it's the grown up option here, but I am nervous AF. They're just doing the checkup today. I am going to a sedation dentistry place because I don't want to take any chances about me backing out of work done. So they're not going to sedate me today. They're going to just do the exam. But yeah, I'm so nervous. Here we go. I am home now. I have to have a root canal. I kind of knew that was going to happen, but it wasn't any easier to take the news having been prepared for it. So I have like a few cavities and then this, it's basically, she said it's like where I had a filling when I was a kid, a kid, like a teenager. Um, it's gotten bad around that. So it's the same area. So great, terrific. So I have to schedule that and I have to figure out the financing because I'm sure it's, it really doesn't pay for shit and it doesn't pay for anything at like a good dentist that like cares about your comfort levels. <laughs> so it's been yet another example of 2020 doing its worst. So when I'm home, I'm gonna get some breakfast, get some stuff done. I have a video to edit and then I'm waiting to hear when I will go pick my dad up from his port surgery. He just went in right now to have his port installed and then I have to go pick him up at the hospital. Another busy day. Who is still in the bed? Is it a small Layla Grace? Is it a small Layla Grace? You ready to get up and get your breakfast? You ready to get up and get your breakfast? What do you think, huh? What do you think? Mm -hmm. a little angel. Let's get your breakfast because mommy has to go, okay? I love you. I love you so much. Hey, it's Wednesday night, it's 6.30, and I just voted. I did, it was so fucking easy. So I had a mail-in ballot, and I was gonna mail in my ballot, and then this morning, Governor Wolf um, put out a thing that said, bring your ballot to the drop-off place if you can, instead of mailing it. We live in the city, and our mail is like super wicked fast. Like when husband mailed his ballot in, it was there the next day. So probably wouldn't have been an issue mailing it today, Wednesday. Um, because we live in the city, but I think they just made like a blanket statement because of some of the rural areas might not get mail that often. So anyway, I did drop it off. They have drop off until 8 p.m. every night until the election. It was so easy. They have the whole lane like blocked off. There's like no parking in that lane and they have it blocked off for parking. They just, you pull up and they say, put your flashers on and go head in, hand it to the person and then you get the sticker. I think this is only the second time I've ever gotten a sticker. So exercising my democracy. It was, it was very, I don't know why it's very exciting, but it's very exciting. So I did vote and it's done. It is in. I should get my little confirmation shortly because I handed it to the human and yeah, I'm done now election day. I still haven't heard if I'm working a poll. I don't think so at this point because I think they would have called me by now, but I will be available to do you know, I don't know if they're doing door-to-door -door canvassing, which is what I did on election day in 2016. And I don't mind doing that. It was basically just like reminding people to vote, asking if they needed a ride, asking if they had any questions, like, and it was really a positive, awesome experience. Like everybody was really, really chill and cool and hyped up and womp womp. You know how that went, but yeah, I, I voted, hey. Welcome to Fox's Best Laid Plans investigative reporting. Tonight, we are asking the question, who got into the trash can? Do we have any idea at all? It is quite a mystery in this house. Someone was in the trash can. They were shredding some things. They took a few things out and were maybe nibbling on them a little bit. We cannot be sure who it was, but we do have a suspect in custody. You're gonna get so many snuggles even though you were naughty, huh? Oh, you're so cute and I can't be mad at you when you make messes and I have to clean them up after you. I love you so much. 
<laughs> I love you. I love you. David Grace. It's time to wake up. Don't you want your breakfast? Layla. Don't you want to eat? You want daddy to get you breakfast before he starts work? Are you hungry or are you just sleepy? You're so cute. I love you. I love you. Spooky weather report. It's very spooky. It got cold. It got creepy out here. You can't even see how creepy it is. Just trust me when I say very spooky. Hello, it's Friday evening. We are headed over to Phipps Conservatory to see the fall flower show. And we have 7 p.m. tickets and we're running late because I was at work and I had to get home and change. But I think it's gonna be really pretty. I'm very excited. I feel like we're doing something normal. He's got his mask on already, so he doesn't forget to put it on. So I have my mask here. It's a, it's a, you have to tie it. It's a real pain in the ass to tie it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, he's wearing the kind that I wear at work all day when you don't have to take it off ever. So it just it ties so it doesn't hurt your ears. So. Anyway, we are headed over there now. You gotta wave your hand above the hole. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Bye train, have fun on your adventure. Hey, Carla. Balls. 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 So many balls. Balls. It is a full moon tomorrow, which any of you who work in healthcare and or retail especially those of us who work in retail healthcare, already know. You don't have to look at the sky or calendar. You just know. You do. Layla? No. What is it?
It is a spooky Halloween morning. A truly spooky weather report today. It's spooky. Yeah. Ooh, it's also fucking freezing. It is so fucking creepy out. I love it. Who's coming down the stairs? Who is it? Oh, it's a tiny stegosaurus. Oh boy, where did we find one of these? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You want a cookie? Are you all wound up now that you did your <laughs> you did your photo shoot? Come here. Hi, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing, huh? She's looking for something to pick up. Come on! There she is, Layla Grace! What is that? Okay, I got the cookies. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good. Good girl. There's so many cookies. You are made half of cookie at this point. Mm. Huh? Are you half okay. cookie? Okay. You in the zoo? Go go. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> Lena. <laughs> it's so weird. You going over to eat tomatoes? Get out of the tomatoes. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? She's like, this is the best behavior. <laughs> what are you doing? Ow! <laughs> what are you doing? Go get it. Go get it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what was that? Oh, you gonna poop there? Is that a good place to poop? Get that pumpkin. Get that pumpkin. <laughs> Get the pumpkin. You be so strange. Dude, hey. Hey. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Get out of your costume. Oh my God. We get dizzy watching her. Get out of there. Leave it. Leave it. Hey. Good girl. <laughs> what are you doing? There you go. Girl. Hey. She's like a heck of costume. What are you doing? Layla. Out of your costume. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. You might go inside? No. <laughs> okay. You're getting tired. There's my good girl. Okay. You go, you go in. Oh, all right.
Wars are gonna destroy it. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, it's Friday night. No, it's not. It's Saturday night, and we are going dancing. He's driving. We are going to Strange Ways Halloween party. I didn't know I was in costume because I didn't know there was going to be an event, and so why would I have costume for that? But it's going to be terrific. I did dress in layers because it's outside, of course, and it's going to be cold. I brought my old band blanket, so I know we'll be set and warm and toasty with this blanket. And I dance my ass off but not too much because I have them right in at midnight. I have a lot of my plate. There it is, see? I told you. possible that I hurt my knee. I don't know what the fuck happened. And I, it's like a weird place that I can't stretch it. But I fucking love this song, so I'm gonna dance anyway. So, if I end up with a torn muscle tomorrow, just know that I went down doing exactly what I love. And it was worth it. It is midnight. It is time for NaNoWriMo to begin. And I'm having technical difficulties and I can't get into the chat. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, 2020. Oh, 2020. Man, I don't even think this computer like has a screensaver. Well, it probably does, but it usually just burns the screen off completely. Oh man, I need some 90s screensaver in my life. Right? Walk into it like a random pictures. fish tank. <laughs> so we just had our virtual kickoff. And I kick off and in a way that was like super nice to do it virtually because then I didn't have to go out of my house because it's kind of cold. <laughs> oh my god, I look super tired. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Better lighting there. So we had our kickoff. It was pretty nice. Um, I did end up writing 33 words that I'm going to delete eventually. They're not like actually part of the story, but Sion was like, you have to beat 17 words. 17 words is your goal every year at the kickoff. I never write a lot at the kickoff. I almost never know what the fuck I'm writing. And it's just like the stress of like being around all those people and like not being, like if I'm around other people and I'm into my story, it's a little bit different, but if I'm just like starting, that's hard, so. So the running joke is that in 2014, I think it was 2014, I wrote 17 words. And so my dear friend William was like, it's going too well. It's going too well. Something has to go wrong because Fox wrote 17 words tonight. So 17 is the goal to beat. So I was like, fine, I'll write 33 words. And I did. So I am going to head to bed and I'm getting up and running with my girlfriends tomorrow. And I'm going to start November on the right foot with some mileage. I'm going to try to run more this month and get back into the swing of things. Just, I don't know. It's hard when you're not training for anything, but I'm going to try. I feel like I'm so stuffy and congested. I was freezing the whole fucking time too, by the way. I had three layers of shirts on and a hood and I was still really cold the whole time because it was like, by the time we left the dance night, it was, I think, down to like 38 degrees. And so I was just like frigid. So Tomorrow morning, it's going to be actually be warmer than that. When we run, it's going to be 40 something. So hopefully going to have appropriate, I forget how to dress for cold weather, but I'm going to head to bed now and get up and start my November productively, I guess. I guess I'm fucking tired right now. I can't think of words.
the trail. It is really spooky out here. It is absolutely fucking crazy out here. Crazy. Oh! Just blew the door open. Look at this. to bring that in. Oh my god. What? Oh. election day. I'm getting more and more anxious as the week goes on. So we're gonna head out to the cage and I'm gonna try to do some writing and I'm off tomorrow. Tomorrow's our anniversary. It's our 13th anniversary and yeah I didn't want to spend it worrying about an impending civil war but you know we don't always have choices in life. We have to just roll with the punches. So um we are going to the cage tonight. I'm going to work on my novel. And I really still don't have a quad. We're gonna walk up there, which I am like very cold right now. So I'm not like really looking forward to walking up there, but I was gonna do like a Peloton or something. And I just, I'm fucking tired. I don't wanna skip a workout because I have a 305 day streak going, but I didn't wanna do anything like really intense. So I'm gonna just put some layers on and we're gonna walk up. Fitness, and I'm going to have. I normally have on my birthday, we always go to the cage, and the cage is the place where I had my first drink when I turned 21. We went at midnight on my 21st birthday, and I had a Long Island iced tea because that was like my favorite drink when I was a kid. <laughs> when I was a kid, meaning like from age 21 to 24, maybe Long Island's were my favorite drink. So every year on my birthday, we go to the cage and, or the, you know, the week of my birthday, and I get a Long Island. Well, this year the cage opened the day after my birthday, after being closed since June, and I was going to do it. And I just was like not feeling great that night and I don't know what was going on, so I didn't have it. So I was like, well, once Nano starts, I will have it. My celebratory Long Island, I will have that, my birthday Long Island, as my first day of writing Long Island. So I think that's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have a Long Island to start. And then we're gonna have regular, you know, dinner and all that. Um, so, just trying to keep things normal. I've been reading a lot of cool stuff online about people saying like, what's your election week plan? What are your plans for the day of elect the election? Like, how to like do self care to keep yourself from like really going crazy. So I am, that's my goal for tomorrow is I'm just creative shit all day. Like my planner, my wellness log, writing, working on photos. Maybe we'll watch a movie during the day, I don't know. Husband and I are both off because it's our anniversary. Get a good dinner somewhere, and then I, I, you know, I know we're gonna watch results tomorrow night. And I'm just trying to, I have a lot of anxiety. I have a lot of worry about what's going to happen. And I, I wanna tell myself, oh, this is not gonna happen, this thing that you're worried about, but there's been some scary shit happening. And they just released today a list of five states that are on like, stupid militia watch and we are one of them pennsylvania is high on the list of stupid militia potential which we kind of knew after the lockdowns earlier this year like we kind of knew we are full of stupid militia so not really looking forward to that but we'll see hopefully we're worrying for nothing about that stuff but i figured let's go out tonight to the cage where we are socially distanced and safe and I can work on my laptop at the bar. Well, not at the bar, it's you have to sit at the table. We never sit at the bar, we sit in a booth, as you've seen many times on this channel. But yeah, go and do something normal tonight and brace ourselves for what comes tomorrow. So here we go. I am gonna put on so many layers because it's fucking freezing outside. It's like 40 degrees it's, and it feels very cold. I don't know, maybe it'll feel less cold 
now that I've been home and I'm going back up, but when I left work, I was like, holy shit. So here we go. Okay. I'm sorry to be rambling so much. I'm just trying to put things in, in some kind of order in my brain. So that's, this is helping to talk about it, I think. Grace, did you vote? Did you vote? You forgot to vote. How could you do that? You ate your ballot? You didn't vote because you ate your ballot? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Who is going to be president of Dogland? Oh, you're so silly. You were so silly. But you went with mommy to vote, didn't you? You helped mommy place her vote. And that's what really matters, huh? Yeah, you stayed in the room while mommy filled out her ballot as a therapy dog. You're a good girl. I forgive you for not voting for Dogland. Because you helped mommy. You're so cute. I love you. I love you. It's our anniversary and we're taking a romantic stroll to the cemetery. We came out for a walk because I was like, we have to fucking get out of the house and stop just reading the news. So we're in my beloved favorite Homewood Cemetery, Five Head. And we're going for a walk and I'm struggling to breathe because I'm super out of shape and we just came up the hill. But it's beautiful, it is perfect weather. It is basically a little bit cooler, but pretty much the weather that it was the day we got married. That's husband, we've been married 13 years so exciting and now we're in cemetery together Ooh, just like it will be later just like it will be someday except that i want to have my body set aflame in joshua tree national park so no i won't be in the cemetery don't worry will you miss me oh I, yes that too <laughs> don't worry what i was just committing I'll, I'll, I'll do that for you oh okay thank you Thanks. that's assuming that uh i die first <laughs> we'll see we'll see Nothing quite like being very morbid on your anniversary. Goth girl problems. It does look beautiful in here. Look at this. Mm Tuesday night. I'm closing out the vlog here. It is election night. It is about 10 o'clock. I'm going to bed. I can't keep watching the results. It's just stressing me out. There's some stuff we're not going to know. Some of the states they're saying we're not going to know for at least until tomorrow morning. Pennsylvania is sometime this week. I don't know. Our state's fucked. <laughs> but it's just, I don't feel good. <laughs> I don't feel good, but I'm gonna go to bed and we'll see where things are in the morning. Husband's still up and he's watching, so he's gonna let me know. We had a really good dinner, as you saw. It was nice, good takeout. Like every single thing we got was really good, so that was nice. But I'm going to head to bed and try not to worry. I'm gonna take my sleeping medicine and try to get through this. So please subscribe if you're new here. I do publish videos twice a week. And I hope everybody is taking care of themselves, staying safe, taking care of each other. Hang in there. We will see what the future holds. Take care, my dudes. Bye.